today uh, I was looking at this pine the other day and I've had it for uh, at least 20 years. I got it out of an old Japanese garden which had been planted in the 1930s and I retrieved it from that garden when they were going to develop around it. And so what I want to do today is show you uh, a kind of a major pruning that I'm going to do on it. Uh, sooner or later trees get very dense and the branch I'm going to cut off is, uh, is creating quite a density in the middle of it and so I want to remove that. Then I want to talk to you about the branch and how it's been pruned for 75 years and how it has evolved and this is directly related to the training of branches in bonsai. So whether it's a yard tree or whether it's a bonsai they all deserve uh, specific care and design so that they evolve into a more interesting form. So let's uh, take a look at the tree from, uh, from the vantage point of uh, where the density is and then I'm going to go up and cut it off and bring it out and show it to you. So this area right in here is uh, where this density has been achieved over the years. It really is quite beautiful in here but it's a little too dense for my take and so I'm going to go in and cut off this branch and uh, then I'll talk to you about it as we get it out of there. Simulated. <laughs> it's sharp. The saw is very sharp goes through it quite easily in spite of its, uh, its great age. There it is. And when I remove it, you'll see the opening that it's created in the design of the tree, which allows for more light to penetrate into the tree's central area, which helps the lower branches do better because they now are getting the light. So here is an 85 year old pine branch. As you can see it is uh, nicely reticulated which means it goes from thick to delicate branching. Each branch creates a gnarly sort of a plane of foliage and this is what years and years of pruning. You'll notice that uh, there is no feeling of apical growth on this. Each branch is crooked and gnarly and undulating. And collectively, they, they create a big plane of foliage, which is displayed like this. And so this is a rather ideal branch form and could only be achieved through successive prunings year after year to uh, take candles off and force new growth to intercede. Now I wanna, what I want to do is show you a, a young branch and show you uh, again uh, the difference in how they look structurally. Uh, this is a branch off of a uh, Japanese red pine. As you can see it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years old, and it's very linear. It goes, all the growth is kind of growing out and away, and that's part of the plan of nature to give each branch some light access. So juvenile branches are linear and straight, and old branches, if they're pruned, can be gnarly and beautiful to look at. So this tree, this branch is a long ways from, uh, from this one, obviously, in terms of its design, but um, it just shows you how continued application of bonsai techniques of putting pulls of wire on and pruning can lead to interesting gnarly branches, whereas juvenile branches manifest a very linear kind of a look to them, and they don't have much character.